Pastor Brian and Reverend Dion Edmonds leave Macedonia Church of Pittsburgh and they're behind a new fasting and prayer movement that's uniting Christians to storm heaven on behalf of the world. They're joining us via Skype. We're so glad that you're joining us today. Good to be here. So glad to have that you're having us here. Hey, what's up, Sydney? Hello, Pastor V. So just, you know, full disclosure, they're good friends of mine and they're mentors of mine. And I just want to hear, how are you both doing and you have kids during this whole crisis? <laughs> we are hanging in there. We're, we're full of faith. We are at peace and we're thankful for that. Um, you know, no one's sick. So we've been having lots of family time, lots of time together. <laughs> so we're doing well. My husband's shaking his head no. <laughs> Pastor V, I saw your eyes get big. What was that? You know, just because you have they have three young children, so how's that yes. holding out? Yeah, oh yeah, they are they are busy uh, and they are stir crazy and and they are running around the house uh, making slides out of the couch uh, <laughs> and, and trying to do flips and so you know I'm trying to join in when I can, yeah. you know, writing messages when I can, and so we're we're holding it all together. And one thing I love that you both, you know, shared even in one of your messages about how important it is to like be present and how we are supposed to be present in this time and hour. And you have a special initiative that you started for this outbreak. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, so we are, uh, are doing something called Thirsty Thursday. Yeah. So it is Thursday, uh, and and it's a time where we can fast and pray. Uh, and we chose a short amount of time, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., so everybody can get involved. Yeah. We are fasting during that time frame, drinking only water, uh, and we're fasting from the news media so that we can really focus on the Lord. Yeah. Uh, then there's a 12 noon prayer call that we're inviting folks from all over the the country all over the world to join in uh, as we storm heaven and ask God uh, to heal our land. And what has the response been so far, Reverend Dion, that you see? Because I saw it's on social media that, you know, people are gathering together to do this, to unite in prayer to have this crisis. Yeah, people are hungry for something different right now. And so it, the response has been great. I think that people are tired of just being bombarded with news media and being overwhelmed by it. And so the opportunity to fast and pray has just been refreshing for so many. And I think it's so important, you know, for such a time as this, for us to humble ourselves and get before the Lord and pray because yeah. of the things that are going on. And I just yeah. want to ask both of you from your perspective and as you've been fasting and praying and seeking the Lord, what has God been speaking to you and showing you for this season that we're in? Yeah, that's a good question. Okay. I think that uh, one of the things that the Lord's been speaking to me is that this is not simply about our methods that we're using to reach people. Like our methods are important. It's important to utilize um, Zoom and to utilize Facebook Live, and those things are important because we're able to reach people at a wider, um, at a much wider rate. But it's also the fact that He's after our hearts in this season, and so God is really trying to get the church and the world to turn back to Him. Second um, Chronicles seven fourteen has been an important scripture that's been lifted up so much in this season. Uh, but one of the things about that text is that God is speaking to those that he's in covenant relationship with. And so I think likewise, God is saying that he really is calling the church to turn back to him, to turn away from sin and to reprioritize him. Indeed. And Pastor B, what is he speaking to you? Yeah, Sydney, I think you hit it on the head uh, when you said humble ourselves, mm -hmm. uh, because the scripture says uh, he's calling us to humble ourselves and pray. And so prayer without humility is an exercise in futility. Right. Yeah. So if we just say, all right, we're going to pray, we're going to pray, we're going to pray. But we never get to the place of humility, yeah. then uh, God's not going to respond in the way that we would desire. So God's been speaking to me saying, humble yourselves, uh, lose your pride. Uh, I know we are a great nation, but we're great because of our God. And so let's seek in him, seek yeah. him and, and seek to find what he's calling us to do. That's a really good point, Pastor B, because just humbling ourselves and even removing those idols. I mean, there's so many distractions, you know, oh, yeah. that we had before, like sports is gone. We can't go mm -hmm. anywhere. That this is really a time to press in and be with our families. And I just want to ask the two of you if you can just share any encouraging words to those who have young children that are at home and are feeling a little <laughs> stir crazy is what you guys alluded to. What hope would you share with them? <laughs> yeah, I think uh, one of the things that you already mentioned is is really just being present, mm -hmm. right? There are so many things that, that we always say, well, I wish I had more time to spend with my kids. I wish I had time to do arts and crafts with them. And, and God is saying, you got time right yeah. now. Um, and so, you know, roll around on the floor with them. You know, we were playing Twister. We were engaging, <laughs> uh, having some fun. And so uh, just take the time that we have to really enjoy them and learn something new about your kids that maybe only their school teacher knows. 
Yeah, I think that um, this time is also important because our children are outside of our care for so much of the day that now we have the opportunity to pour into them in some different ways. And so just taking the time to disciple them in some different ways in this season. And I also want to ask you too, both on like just talking about children, how are you explaining this all to them? Is there any fear that they're dealing with or trying to understand what's going on because it's so unprecedented? We've never yeah. experienced this. So how are you explaining it to them? Yeah, uh, I think, you know, we're, we're just trying to talk to them, of course, on their level, letting them know that a lot of people are getting sick, uh, but we really want to still focus them through prayer and say, mm -hmm. how can we pray? And so yeah. even last night, you know, our daughters, uh, you know, they prayed for the doctors and nurses. They prayed for, you know, people that are not feeling well. And so they're recognizing that there's power in our prayer mm -hmm. uh, and there's power in being caring about our world. We've also been talking to them about their feelings, about all that's going on, because, you know, mm -hmm. like us, they're missing their friends, they're missing interaction with other people that they had in school. And so we've been talking through that and that's been powerful to see as well. Yeah, because I know with your, your daughters, they love to like socialize and interact with people. And thank you so much for, <laughs> yeah, like I know they get, you know, there's like, I know their daughters and they love socializing with people. And I think it's really hard because kids aren't able to play outside. But I think it's so beautiful that you're able to have that intentional family time where you can get into his presence, you can play yeah. Twister, and you see them sliding <laughs> down the couch at those moments. It's like really important for us to cherish those moments. Yeah. Indeed, indeed. Yeah. Well, thank you both so much for joining us today. And we just continue to pray for your family to stay healthy and safe and continue to do the work that you're doing for Macedonia and Pittsburgh at large. Thank you. Amen. Thank us. you. We love you all. We love the work Cornerstone is doing as well. Keep yeah. it up. Thank you so much.